There's some tarpon right there. There he goes. <laughs> one shot, one catch. All right, one shot, one catch. That's how we do it, Schmidt time. One shot, one kill. Or more specifically, one shot, one catch. Or really specifically, one shot, one catch, one release. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite subjects, or more specifically, my favorite technique, which is sight fishing. Now, sight fishing is basically going out and targeting a specific species not being just kind of randomly, but you want to catch this one certain species. Okay, and then you go out and you scout out an area that you think you'll find them. And then once you spot one, then you kind of go into stock mode, get in close enough, get that right angle. Then you take your shot or put that lure or bait right out there where it needs to be. And you get to see them going up and grabbing it and then the fight is on. Okay, and that is my favorite style of fishing. Now what's kind of an important topic for down here in the Keys specifically is is because we have the luxury of clear water most of the time. Whereas on the mainland and other areas, a lot of places don't have that. So you don't actually get to do this style of fishing. And that's why it's really special for me that while I'm down here, I'm gonna take as much advantage of it. Plus it's just really cool. Now for me, I really enjoy sight fishing because it reminds me of, bam, hunting. All right, back on the mainland, I used to hunt a lot. I'm actually probably a better hunter than I am a fisherman, but in the Keys, not a lot of hunting opportunities. Now, we do have the key deer, and I've got my deer rifle, but they just keep walking up and licking the scope, so it's hard to kind of zero in on them. And then the other wild species we ever have around here, if you watch my videos, they're pretty much all, oh, hey, what's going on? You got any food? Want to feed me? And then get give them the food, and eh, whatever, get away, that thing. So not most challenging or sporting of hunting down here. But that fishing style of doing all the sight fishing really reminds me of that, and then it kind of gets me back to that roots. So I find it really fun. Uh, the second thing is that the the challenge factor. Now, I fish quite a bit down here and I'm more of interested, not just catching and reeling in the fish, but also learning why they were there, why they bit my lure, how do I repeat that process, learning the correct techniques, learning what their migrations are, what the patterns are, in order to catch that fish repeatedly. Then after you've done that, once you've got that pattern developed, it tends to be a lot easier to catch those fish out there. I've got enough spots and I know enough where I could pretty much know that I can go to this spot and catch this species at this certain time of day and be fairly consistent about it. But with the sight fishing, it really narrows down that window there, that opportunity. So I really have to kind of vary things and get very technical about it. And that actually makes it more challenging, fun, Okay, but it also teaches me a lot. Um, seeing how that fish reacts to that certain bait, where I land it, how I land it, the type of baits that I'm using, really affects things and it really teaches me and makes me a better fisherman because of that. And then third, uh, it really helps out with the YouTube channel. Okay, because I'm basically filming just me casting the fish, biting, Reeling, boom, that's it. Versus if I'm just casting and reeling, casting and reeling, casting and reeling, five hours worth of that, having to sit down there in front of the computer for five hours and editing all that stuff down to 10 minutes or so takes a lot of time. So when I'm done, I know I've just got just the good stuff right off the bat and then I just have to fine tune it. So it makes things a lot easier in that regard. Now, because sight fishing is somewhat technical, I think what I'm going to do is to do a bunch of individual videos about different subject matters under a playlist called uh, sight fishing. Uh, that way I can go into more specific detail about each one of those subjects since they are kind of important. 
Now also, this is kind of the worst time for sight fishing in regards to being going into winter time where our days are going to be mainly overcast, more windy days than during like the summertime where we have bluebird skies and less winds, as well as kind of a flip-flop of our species with the warm weather fish kind of vamoosing and then we've got an influx of our wintertime species. So I'm actually going to kind of convert from sight fishing to more just standard cast and retrieve style fishing. But I think it's going to work out better because during the summertime when we have this nice beautiful weather there, I didn't want to waste a day of fishing to make these videos so I kind of kept putting it off. Here what I'll do is, is when I find a small sunny weather window, uh, I'll take advantage of it, do the certain subject matter about a certain category of it, and then post that and then just kind of work our way through. And then once we start getting into February, March, April, boom, those people are coming down for the beginning of tarpon season and all the bonefish, permit, grand slam, inshore stuff. That's when that starts turning on, then you'll be all ready for it. All right, uh, for those wanting to know, this is my dad's rifle. It's a Winchester Model 70 Featherlight. Uh, it's chambered in 243. It's got a red-filled 2x7 wide scope. Uh, this kind of even correlates to the fishing where, like, uh, a lot of times if you get into the fly fishing crowd down here, they're going to say, oh, you got to come down here and fish. you got to learn how to throw... 50 yards in a tornado winds uh, in order to be effective, okay? Well, my thing is, well, learn the sight fishing part, the stalking part, and get within 20 feet of them, and that doesn't become as important. Uh, same thing for, like, these deer rifles. Uh, it's not necessary to carry a big, heavy 7mm 30-06. Uh, if you know how to hunt and you know how to stalk and you can get within 100 yards, and you know how to shoot and you can hit a dime at 100 yards every time okay it doesn't really make that much of a difference so anyways uh thanks for watching and uh keep an eye out for some more sight fishing 101 videos bye